What are you? Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. <gasps> Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Ah! 
Mother teach you to knock. Behind you, big boy. Heyday. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. No one else will. I'm the only one who gets the job done. Sounds lonely. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Jesus! Got him! Wait! 
Wait, wait! Do not shoot! Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait! I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Well, it's been fun. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Stunned silence. <clears throat> well, that is how Mayor Hill is gonna feel when we crush him on election day. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle, just working the night shift. Yeah, well then you're pulling a double. 
No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> then I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I just don't like being someone I'm not. What, what are you talking about? You are Gotham's golden sun. Let them bask in your radiant glow. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, a new face for Gotham, hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband... Voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. Well, my name isn't important. What is important is Mr. Dent's campaign. Like now, it or not, the Wayne name carries weight in Gotham. I understand. I just don't want to find Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that deranged man had gotten the right treatment maybe uh, well I don't like to think about maybes and I'm sure you don't either well thank you I wish my could be here speaking with you too and thank you Bruce for investing in the health of this city's future you have our support Mr. Dent go get him we're on our way <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? 
Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Actually, I do mind. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. <sighs> we'll talk tomorrow, then. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... <laughs> Is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Uh, actually, it's, uh... It's lipstick. Well, no wonder you were late. Say no more. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, Another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. My family built this house. It's not for sale. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne. And every one. Just need to find the right currency. Carmine Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. You should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll get a drink or something. Christ. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. I understand more than you know. Good. You look smart. You dress smart. Glad it adds up to something real. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. 
You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Whatever you say. You're a good kid. You look like him, you know? It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. While this city's still standing. It's me. See what she was really after. Mayor Hill 
Hills, Gotham Beautiful Act takes effect today, making it possible for landlords to evict tenants immediately and without cause. The new law was created in order to allow Gotham City's biggest property owners the ability to modify and improve the city's 80 buildings, some of which have been occupied by families for decades. Let's find out what was so important. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave. Yeah, well, this is the only room that really matters. Well, then you won't mind if I skip cleaning the rest. The dusting is murder. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. It was a keep your enemies closer situation. Hopefully not close enough to stab you in the back. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You're right, you're right. I should have canceled the event. Well, I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? 
This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> he's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. the statue, but no Oz. Hey. Beat it! Watch wallet cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? Go ahead. Try and take it. The hell you say? End him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, in the uh, moment! Come here! Uh, Think that'll do? Uh, 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 stay down! Be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Eh, yeah, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? You didn't need to take it so far. Some folks are fine here in Bruce. 
Others don't get the message unless it's beaten into them. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, you did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Well, that's just the way it goes sometimes. It's out of our control. Well, obviously, but you don't have to be a dick about it. You know, when I saw you at the party last night, I thought, Bruce Wayne, ah, has it changed a bit? Maybe I was wrong. Shouldn't have been a surprise when I saw you with Carmine Falcone. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> no, 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 no. I only agreed to meet him because of Harvey. Beware of any man who smiles that much, Bruce. They're usually hiding a forked tongue. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. Are you threatening me, Oz? Take it as you like. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Oh, okay, okay. Pretty sure you have enough photos, guys. Of Bruce Wayne? Never. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but... Boy, does she have charm. 
<laughs> uh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. My parents were heroes that night, and we can all learn from their sacrifice. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? We should tear down the walls and erase it from the map. I don't want us lingering on past mistakes. I want us to focus on Gotham's future. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father. Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? My parents were entrepreneurs, philanthropists, not common criminals. It's absurd. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control's my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. 
We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's chopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. to do this. This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here... Instantly makes you look bad. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources, there isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family, after me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear.
You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Warrant? 